Hello Yellow Jacket fans and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Tanya. I'm Nolan Alexander joined by Tanya Johnson, head coach of the Jackets. This past weekend, Tech took a trip out to Albuquerque, New Mexico, took on three different teams. Jackets picked up one and win over UC Riverside and dropped other couple contests. So as the weekend as a whole, what was the good and what was the bad? Uh, I think a lot of good came out of, uh, out of the weekend from the standpoint of uh, just trying to establish a lineup, uh, trying to get some people playing time, uh, but also uh, continuing to work on our connection as a team on the court and trying to make it flow a little bit better. And so uh, I thought there were a lot of good things that came out of this weekend. Jennifer Percy had a great weekend named the All-Tournament Team. What did you see out of Percy? Well, I thought her passing was a lot better this weekend uh, compared to last weekend. Uh, but I also thought her offense was pretty good as well. And so I thought she did a great job of, of, of just playing at a consistent level of, of high-level play. Uh, I thought the one area that really stood out to me was her blocking. Blocking is, is probably uh, the skill, the most difficult skill of all the skills in volleyball. And so uh, in terms of picking the right spots and in terms of block timing, that's all important. A lot of young players on the team, as we've talked about before, has she taken a couple under her wing and show off some of those blocking skills and tricks of the trade? Uh, you know, I, I think she's uh, she's done a great job of, of, of communicating with Tegan from the standpoint of, you know, when Tegan's front row and, and Percy's out of the match and, you know, they can converse a little bit going back and forth. And so uh, I think she's done a nice job with that. You spoke about Tegan last week and how well you enjoyed seeing her play. What all did you see out of Tegan this week? I, I thought her passing, you know, I thought her passing was really, really sound this weekend. This past weekend, you know, she passed the 2-2 for the weekend, and that's pretty good. You know, we talk when you talk about stats, we're talking about passing at a 2.1 to a 2.3, uh, and she passed a 2.2 for the weekend. So I just thought she was really steady and kept us in system quite a bit. Uh, so she did a really nice job in regards to that. You spoke about trying to get a more consistent lineup with this team. We saw another freshman out there, Rebecca Martin. What led to you putting Martin out there on the court? Uh, you know, I thought Becca did a great job of running the offense. Uh, and bringing some diversity to our offense. Uh, she's really good at reversing the flow. Uh, I thought for a freshman she stepped up uh, and, and just did a really nice job being her first time starting. Becca's a very smart player. Uh, she's, a, she's a student of the game. Uh, and she's such, such a fast tempo ball that uh, if our attackers aren't prepared, they'll miss that window. Uh, but, you know, I think she has great hands and I think uh, she's a solid player and I, I look forward to having her in our program for the next few years. This past weekend, a little different than your normal trip. You had a day off there on Saturday and some more time to go and explore the city of Albuquerque. Fun times out there? Yeah, we had a good time. Uh, we played in New Mexico on Saturday afternoon at 2, and then we were able to, uh, to hang out a little bit on Saturday night. We ended up going to dinner and having some great Mexican food. Uh, and then we ended up taking the tram up to the Sandia Mountains, which is about 10,000 feet above. Uh, and it was just an incredible view uh, and an incredible, incredible team bonding experience for our team. Uh, to be able to just get out and do some fun stuff, which we rarely get to do. Tech back on campus right now, and there's a lot of hustle and bustle around campus going on Monday and Tuesday, the career fair over at the Campus Recreation Center. And I know there's a lot of seniors on the squad, and I take it some of those have made their way over, dressed up, and handed in the resumes. Absolutely. Uh, we had a couple of kids go to the job fair this morning, and I can't tell you how important it is to have something <laughs> like that. Uh, on your campus uh, throughout the course of the semester and so our kids try to take advantage of that and uh, you know a lot of our, our seniors this past year this past summer they all did internships uh, this summer and I thought it was an incredible experience for them to be able to do that and so hopefully that will lead into uh, more internships next year for next year's senior class. Where do you, the rest of your staff, and those that assist in the Athletic Association come into that and help supporting the players for their careers after Georgia Tech? Well, I, you know, when, when we're recruiting, we preach uh, academics first and that, you know, it's, it's, our, uh, it's our job to, to make sure that these kids are prepared to go out into the real world. And so when you're getting them experiences like this and they're, you know, shaking hands and giving out their resumes and, and making people familiar with their faces, uh, I think it just makes them better for it when they really get into the real workplace and have that real interview and now the nerves are gone <laughs> because they've experienced a little bit throughout college uh, and they've, they've had some experience on their resume besides just community service and being a student athlete at Georgia Tech and so uh, I think that speaks volumes for, for our university uh, and for our, our athletics association to be able to support things like that. So let's look ahead to this weekend. Three more teams coming into O'Keefe Gymnasium, UConn, St. John's, and the Troy Trojans. Uh, I thought this was a great, a great mix of teams, uh, three different teams mm -hmm. uh, that we'll face this weekend, uh, three teams that had pretty good years last year. Uh, and so I, I think that uh, uh, this year I, I expect the same out of them to be pretty competitive and uh, for them all to be competing for, uh, for their conference championships. What are your goals for the team for this weekend? Uh, I think the goals are for us to continue to 
uh, to connect uh, and, and have the game uh, be a little bit more fluid for us. Uh, we'll have some positions that are pretty much, uh, pretty much set uh, from the standpoint of trying to get people just comfortable uh, and more importantly, uh, again, just trying to get them to connect and understand the flow of the game and just play the game of volleyball the way it's supposed to be played. Well, Coach, I look forward to seeing you, the rest of the Jackets, in a packed atmosphere at O'Keefe Gymnasium. All the action this weekend. For more information, you can visit ramblinrec.com.